Okay. So we need to find a horse. So that's not a horse. That's the same squid that we found earlier. That's a dog. And the problem with this puzzle is that if you touch the wrong glyph, something bad will happen. You either get damaged, or there's also a very interesting one, which will spawn a copy of both you and Kira for you to fight. But since uh, we're at quite a high difficulty, I want to avoid a few fights. So let's jump down. And then over here is a horse. Drawing of a horse. Clue for Siri must be. There you go. And then we dive. And there's the exit. Another bounty hunter Gambazon. I'm gonna check that out when we surface again. There we go. So no, it's it's worse. Okay. Kelpie. Another horse. Almost exactly like the last one. Let's see what this does. Geralt, I don't know what you did, but it worked. Come back here. Okay, easier said than done. Slightly drop down. Look, they're opening. They're opening your legs? Oh, sorry. Let's go. <laughs> that might have been a bit too much. Well, now I know what distorted my effort at teleportation. This very portal. We must try to activate it. So, I'm first gonna also meditate a bit. Because the next couple of fights will be quite heavy. So that my, uh, my resources are a bit replenished. So when I touch... I think that's a... The swallow. Swallow. Then that happens. So we immediately went through the portal that activated. Gavella Glan. So that's what it's it looks like. Awfully quiet. Is that bad? A bit like the calm before a storm. Um, well, you see our next opponent over there already. It's a golem, but he looks Okay, he's not dancing anymore. I've a bad feeling about this. Yeah. <laughs> So, the Gap Urden is a very good way to weaken him, and then the other thing you should do is use heavy attacks. He will be quite distracted by Kira, but you should not be close to him. Get to his back, it's even better. And be very careful about that charging attack. Keep a Quen shield up at all times, just in case he hits you. not interested in me, is he? So that's a bit of a bullshit attack, because it kind of homes in on you. I find it funny that even his jumps are slow. There he goes! So yeah, keep your Quen up and cause the Irden to slow him down. And the only really dangerous attack is when he charges at you and you just should just roll away. And with heavy attacks you can bypass a part of his armor. So with those strategies you should be able to get him down quickly. 
Don't underestimate it. I've some very good feelings about you, for instance. In several domains. In several domains? Okay. Nothing, nothing left on the ogre. Okay. Any other loot here? Climb up, there's another chest with a lot of runes and the diagram for the hunter's boots. Once you finally find Siri, what will you do? Any plans? Depends what she wants. Imagined it. How it will transpire. What will she say? What will she look like? No. I'm sorry for getting ahead of myself. At times I forget. We hardly know each other. Certainly not enough to discuss personal matters. Not to worry. We'll get there. Oh, Chica Bow Wow. Yeah, we might get there eventually. Because Kira is quite a lovely lady. Um, so we should be heading over there. As you know me, I like exploring. So let's check this place out. Oh, there's the elemental oil. And you can see another dangerous enemy over there. So uh, I'm going to save again. I'm going to attempt to kill the gargoyle over there. Well, we found the elemental oil. And I think the gargoyle is part of the elemental. Oh, I can make dancing star as well. Okay, why not? And the elemental oil is also available because of the abundance of uh, mushrooms we found in this cave. So I think the gargoyle is an elemental. And then the cave closes behind us and the gargoyle starts its assault. We again have the help of Kira Max. He is roughly as strong as the ogre from a while back. And he has a lot more different attacks. But if we keep him between ourselves, we should be doubting him to attack. Since she will, she will turn towards. Oh, fuck. The one skill that will make this a lot easier is the, the upgrade for Igni that burns away armor permanently. But since we don't have that, we'll have to make do with what we can do. And his foot stomp is quite far reaching, as you can see. Okay, there we go. So, pretty much the same tactic as before. Let's go. Although he has a lot more attacks and is a bit more dangerous. That's a lot of stuff. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again and using Kira's distractions, you should be fine. That's a lot of ingredients. Okay, that could set us up for a while now. I didn't even use the elemental oil. 10% isn't that much, but hey. So now, the rest of the cave. I don't think I wasted any teleport over there. We must activate it quickly. I have a feeling another golem's about to surprise us. Seriously? Another swallow. Let's do it then. Come on. Don't want to be doing anything to harm us specifically. Look, we've managed to cross the bridge. This is where we saw the wild hunt. Great. Means they're way ahead of us. Come on. Yep, because they are. As you can see wild by the hunt. frozen Definitely. golems. They destroyed the major 
trees. They didn't come here for a friendly chat with the elf. Yeah. I mean, you ever thought they might have? <laughs> so another chest with dwarven spirit indicating that it would be a, a good idea to meditate real quickly to fill everything up because yes we are heading into a fight our first fight with the wild hunt again i might have miscalculated with not having the igni upgrade already because it might be handy in the coming fight but hey so i'm also gonna switch to the thunderbolt potion because i am going to use that in the next fight uh, my sword will be mainly good, I think. They could attack. And for the rest, hmm, I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, the hangman's venom would be handy for them as well. So here we go. So there's one of their mages. And let's take the fight to them. So the mage seems to be in control. And there seems to be someone else at the end there. And that's not good as well. What is this? The white frost. Made from the hunt summoned it. Can you see all those cracks it's blowing through? They're too far. We must get closer. I shall shield us with Demetia Crest Surge. Stand at my side. Yeah, so now for this fight we need to Guardian stay close I. to Kira. So as always, Quan. And now we need to make sure that Kira survives. If we step outside of the bubble, we'll get, get continuous damage from the White Frost itself. So what will happen now is the her portal Nicolai. she'll try to close it, and there will be hounds spawning. We must close them! Want me to go? I'll do it! Just cover me! So the hounds that are coming out are white frost creatures. Their most important job here is keep them away from Kira. But without putting yourself in harm's way, They can regenerate their health, but of course, so can I. When all the hounds are dead, she'll close the portal and we'll move on to the next one. I'm also going to cast an Erden around us, so we get a little more leeway when the hounds are attacking. Your signs do reach outside of the shield, so casting a few. my uh, edibles quite quickly so one more wave and then we'll have a bit more room to fight with and Kira is holding up quite nicely and then an curtain around it the 
let them come in the shield. And when they're slowed. There he goes. So that's the first part of this fight because it's not over yet. The White Frost is gone. Kira, Kira is What's feeling wrong? a bit woozy. It'll pass. That took a great deal of power. Oh, that was dramatic. Just don't faint on me. Just don't faint on me. <laughs> now, in your firm embrace, not in your life. So that was a more positive response. <laughs> We'll have to be able to say we could stay here a while and rest. I know. I know. We must go on. Show must go on. So yeah. Because this is not over yet. Uh, they blocked the passage. Maybe I can try. Leave it to me. I'm gonna quickly scoop around this place to get all the monster brains and sulfur. I can find. So be right back. So that's all the looting done. And now, quite again, but I think it will be deactivated once we enter the arena again. Thanks for your help. Pretty tough slog. Ah, good thing I came with you. You'd never have managed without me, would you? Come now. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Never. So there is. Another secret cave here, apparently. Forgot about this one. Another foglet. And down he goes. Allowing us to loot this gorgeous chest diagram for the harpy. I'm not really sure what that is. So didn't lose anything there. So no harm done. Back to Quan. He awaits us. And down to the big guy himself. And there we have our first real Wild Hunt member. One of the Red Riders, the Phantom Riders. Your one of their many names. Geralt, I shall help you. Step back. Stop telling me what to do. Yeah, because we are going to use her help. I lost my shield again, so... So again, very armored, very largely armored enemy. So uh, using combination of your heavy attack will do best. Especially when the criticals from behind, when he's stunned, and he's poisoned actually. He is vulnerable for the poison in my... Oh no, okay. Forgot about that. Stay calm. Focus. So now, when that happens, we need to focus on the enemies that he spawns. Or the difference that we're now free to roam the area. So Kira is pretty much invincible right now, so don't worry about protecting her. So there we go again. Straight through my shield. Wonder if I can block any of the strikes. No, I cannot. Okay. 
good to know. Since he's using a heavy weapon, I'm also not able to parry his attack, so that's not an option. And this is where you really see the effect of the mutagen's shot. Because I can almost immediately reactivate Quen when he strikes through it. Okay, and then he does his shield again. Also, the faster you defeat his enemies, the less health he will recharge. Oh, for fuck's sake, I got too close again. And again. And that's another one down, using Quen to heal a bit. But Nitral is back at full health again. So yeah, you can easily see the difference when I do a light attack. It doesn't even do as much damage as a heavy attack, even if it's critical. So Also, when he's blocking, your heavy attacks just slice straight, straight through that, so don't worry about that. And just as with the previous bosses, just rinse and repeat. I'm gonna slow him a bit as well. Any advantage we can get. And even poisoning, that's lovely. I think he does his shield one more time. Oh, that hurts. Oh, okay, never mind, he died. Unnecessarily. And the wild one's warrior sword. my knickers on straight, this looks like the elves' laboratory. <laughs> if I have my knickers on straight. Well, I would like to check, but I don't think you will allow me. So, you might be tempted to run off with her immediately, but there are some chests here that need to be looted with a lot of handy loot as a saddle. I think it's the first saddle you can encounter in the game. Of course, you can bypass this quest and just go buy one, but... Okay, never mind, we found already one. We found an enhanced one before. Never mind. I do get back. So we also found a sp Spiker Rogue Akaton, but that's the same one we had on. And the swords aren't better than my equipped gear as well, so... Nothing we can use right away. After that chest and whatever you can find of the bodies of the creatures that you killed, we get to loot the laboratory itself. Alright, let's watch this message. So yeah, you got me off there. Yeah. This place is no longer safe. Do not tarry here long. Trust no one. And above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together, not much to go on. Damn it. Yeah. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here, surely they saw the projection. They searched everything. And if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the elf, not about Siri. Well, we know they were well acquainted and traveling together. Yeah. So why did they split up? Wonder why they split up. Perhaps because the wild hunt was on the elf's trail, and Siri would be safer if they did. She's taking a liking to that elf. The witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Okay. Kira, if you're hiding something. But I didn't say. Yeah. Why didn't you say anything earlier? I told you Siri had a run-in with a witch. Well, I had no idea you meant then. 
If I'd told you something, you would have rushed off to find them. But we needed first to confirm that Siri was here, didn't we? And you needed something else. I shall tell you everything now, of course. Now? After I safely led you through the cave? I can't believe you'd think so poorly of me. Perhaps you do bear a grudge against sorceresses. <laughs> can't imagine where that comes from. Okay. You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Vellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet... Throughout my first fortnight in Velen, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously. Render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. Okay, and how do we find them? But we going to crook back The swamps are vast, dangerous, but they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog, and from that chapel one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Caermorhen. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. Fairy tale influence. I, I truly do believe you'll find your Cirilla. All right then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. As a start. So. Why do we even come? The elder blood. What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drank it. Why did you use? Yeah, never mind. So we also found that note, which I didn't get the chance of reading because we were immediately thrown into a cutscene. After the white frost, spiring ash down dreamy hills, past sparkling waters, Tirnalia drifts slowly, softly, silently into oblivion. Sage lips blacken, frosted bones quiver. Before an ice-bound eye can blink, in distant skies I will watch your descent. Huh. Seems like a riddle of some kind. Although Geralt doesn't seem to notice this. Air legend book. So, in the bookcase itself. Okay. Nothing special. Mysterious mage herbalist. Yeah. Hmm. Mysterious mage herbalist. And another chest. With lots of nice stuff. Ah, there's the hybrid oil. Immediately check that out if we can make it. Oh, I can make it. Another blue mutagen. One more, I can make a greater blue mutagen. Uh, da, 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 da. Hybrid oil. Immediately. See, that looting came in handy. So now we have almost all elemental. Elemental. All the poisons we can have. So now there's something strange with this hallway. Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? Because the wall does not seem to be it's real. It's an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. Thank it's you. bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, lovely. So when you notice a shimmer in the air, walk toward it when you're close. We can dispel the illusion. So, I could do that on this wall, but we found the large rock formation which seemed to simmer as well. 
So let's go check that one out now, shall we? An illusion. And there's another underwater tunnel. So we know Kira won't follow us in the water. Okay, one room stone. So there's two sideways. Doesn't seem Interesting. To be. Oh. Damn, you're ugly. Shit. And another foglet. And with a few quick strikes, the foglet is down. And we can check out what's in the chest, because that was interesting. A relic weapon, the Morgrim. Morgrim, plus 10 damage, Quen sign intensity up, Iron sign intensity up, a silver sword. Uh, it needs a bit of repairing, and I think I can fix that. And it looks cool. It has the, the two signs I use the most are boosted. And it has three slots for upgrades. So, yeah, I want to compare that. So the only thing different is that there's no poison. I don't use Ard as much. So let's put it in there. And then we're going to repair it. And now it does its full damage. Interesting. So that's a very good weapon to have at this stage. Boosting of the most interesting signs, even if it is for a bit. It does boost it. Now, there's also this hallway to the left. With another two pieces of loot. With the werewolf decoction. And I think that's one of the more interesting decoctions. We haven't beaten a werewolf yet, so we don't have the werewolf mutagen needed to create this. But I'm gonna check it out anyway in a second. So werewolf decoction. Oh no, never mind, it's more of a utility thing. Running, sprinting and jumping outside of combat does not use stamina. So we have a lot of these that we couldn't make yet. Although we did kill a few of those, like the Noon Wraith, we need Earth Gold Seeds, Night Wraiths, so we don't have a mutagen of that. It's only the Noon Wraith, apparently. So these become available after you've done certain contracts. Okay. So very interesting hidden area, which you might miss since you were, would be going forward. But containing a few useful diagrams and uh, of course the weapon Morgrim. So now we dispel the wall the same way. Simple, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, let's see where the passage leads. So now we are almost out of the cave, but Kira has a request. That? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? There's the caveat. So yes, we'll help her. Yeah, I'll help. Because that lamp is going to come in handy. Come then. But before we help Kira out, so we complete the quest. Oh, and I leveled up. Let's do that first. So I didn't unlock an extra slot, so boosting, adding a new ability would be useless. And the next point in the Quen active shield ability is rather handy, because the next level allows me to maintain the shield with half the stamina drain. So we will do that. There we go. So now we have eight points in the sign tree. So before we help Kira, um, I'm gonna take a break. So when we return, we will be helping Kira to retrieve the magic lamp. 
So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more on my channel. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye!